Hello guys and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk about everything that we are in and if that sounds interesting I suggest you leave a like, comment and subscribe and also check out the discord and telegram in the description down below. And now let's get started. So looking at Luna, Luna sits at $9.29 which is currently insane. Remembering Luna was back a few days ago at $5 and somewhat and now we double our money in about a few days and now to the governance we also farmed a bit more of UST if we would sell our anchor for it but so far I just let it keep sitting in here until we get a bit more or until we see Luna goes back down in price again then we sell them and put them back in here you know how we always do but nevertheless for anchor everything looks good they changed the TVL to maximum of 60% instead of 45 so you get an additional 15 percent on your loan and that's pretty much a good incentivize to actually take out a bit more you don't need to put it in your uh, luna balance just keeping it in your wallet will also get you the anchor you know so that's what i should do you know take out the maximum like 45 percent 1200 and i would earn on top of that also 42 percent again you know but looking at spec room right here, we still have everything spake, uh, staked. 708 token are st basically locked still in here. We got about 200 token now that we could unstake at this moment and sell. That would be around $500 worth of UST in the end. Looking over at the governance, we got 11 percentage on the APR, which means 0.03% for the daily staking rate, which actually increases all the time. Like I said, the more there is going on on here, the more of the fees they're making, the more you will get paid. And of course, it's less and less spec to it that's staked because simply there's way more pools out here. Now you've got the Bitcoin one, you've got the Polkadot one, you have a Coinbase where you even can farm with Coinbase stock and so on and even now alibaba apple all the things you know and you can simply farm that in here at a good percentage still and even you can choose to auto compound instead of auto staking it which means that your rewards will be sold for i think it was mirror yeah i think it was mirror but yeah that's pretty much a good incentivize why you should use that platform and over here on olive swap Yesterday a pool seemed to have ended. It was this one. It ended a few blocks ago. Now we actually have a bit of olive left to put in again. But of course, you know what we are going to do first is sell off our big batch of MKC, which is still $20 worth of it each and every day. And let's go over here onto pancake swap and put that in here wait for it to show up in the wallet because the Binance network seems to be slowing down a bit in the last few days. Looking current price of cake and all, we sit at 40,740 on cream, which is not too bad at all because yeah, at the moment everything is going back up again, which is very good and that makes us earn a bit more also in the farms and that makes us be able to farm with more than we usually do you know and yeah binance currently is not really working how it should work but yeah looking at the farms definitely at the moment i forgot to open one big one already for him like i always forget it the price of for him still sits there wet it sits all the time because this one seems to be finding the price flaws all the time and looking here over on the funder boost you basically see that the total stake is already 100 million uh, and on the front of all three, it's 744 million. Going over to the other vaults, you can see on the second one where I'm staking, you also got 100 million uh, on top of it. So, yeah, 800 million. No, uh, about 1 trillion is staked. One, no, 1 billion is staked. About 1 billion is staked, my bad. And we still got 0.4% a day on this one and we currently got 72 dollar worth of forium since our last action that was basically now 10 days ago so in 10 days we made 72 dollar with a very small investment 
that's pretty much looking also very good for it. We can look at it on the price chart over here for Forium. And we still can see that it moves upwards all the time. As you can see, we had some dips, of course, but the bottom half will sit here. And yeah, after that, it slowly went a bit down because a few people seem to be selling them, but you cannot be, yeah, saying no to that because taking profit is always a good thing. That's what I always say, take profit. And now looking at baby Ethereum, baby Ethereum still sitting there giving us solid Ethereum rewards because yeah, that's the main thing why I'm still holding that token. Uh, the price goes down quite significantly. It had a very much volatile day yesterday. A lot of trading going on again, as you can see here. And uh, we bought ourselves a bit more uh, yeah, during that crash. And right now we are almost up in that position again. So yeah, we simply just waited a bit out because they are going to increase the liquidity added to the LP pair when it's burnt. So that's already a good sign. And yeah, nevertheless, I'm still going to hold on to this one. I'm moving now over to some of the NFTs we recently bought again. Going over here onto my profile, you can see that we actually bought ourselves again a few of those Cypher City NFTs. And also Bones Club, I don't know if I showed them yesterday's video, but yeah, here we go. Pick them up for a decent price, I would say. They, are, they have a high rarity score. Here you can see I put this amount of ETH in, and I'm going to list them, of course, for a much higher price. And here I purchased it for 0 0.2 ETH, and this one was 0 0.187 ETH, so all in all, those look also good in price and also if you go over here into the South City and you look at the volume traded during the last 90 days, you can basically see today already 129 sales have happened. And a lot of people are buying the cheap ones at the moment, not a lot are buying expensive ones, that's just because the price flow seems to be that low at the moment that people are still a bit afraid of, but some very rare get sold for a good price. You can see not even uh, that rare one got sold for 0 0.4 Ethereum and we also had the sale of one which got sold for about 1 Ethereum and even here 1.5 ETH 8 hours ago for an alien. Okay, that was the first alien sell ever. You can see it he listed it 14 hours ago and it took about yeah 8 hours until it's to be sold. Now he is the person who has it and he seems to be not selling it. So interesting, you know, with those, you always need to look a bit around what's going to happen, who has them and so on, you know. But I think overall, this one will be a good investment for NFTs, also for the long term, because they got a lot of traction going on so far. Same as for the Bones NFT, they also look very good. But yeah, the Bitbone, I don't know. This might also pick up some speed and also the Orzahas Punk. They look good as well, you know. Uh, yesterday there was again the honorary punk that got sold for about 0 0.06 ETH. But of course there was because it got randomly listed at a certain time and you could get it for basically almost free. And yeah, these are worth quite a lot if you get a rare one of the others. They are worth around 5 ETH at the moment. And here you can also see that some got sold already for one Ethereum as a... Ooh, yeah, okay. We got one big sale now in here, which happened a few minutes ago. So someone bought one or the rest punk for about one Ethereum, which is quite interesting. Actually didn't think that they would go for that high at the beginning, but yeah. Today will be another drop also of them, so be ready for that. If you are interested in those, you need to do a quest, and after you've done the quest, you can purchase one for the beginning price of 0 0.025, and you need to do an anagram, and that's basically everything that you need to do in the Discord of them, of course, and after that, you can purchase them. So that was basically it already. I hope we now got our tokens. Yeah, we got them. Um, so we can buy ourselves a bit more olive and stake that in our pool.
cool in here. <coughs> and actually need to add that to the MetaMask that token. And get the info side and see how much we already farmed. Because all the time we add something to it, we are going to unstake the rest of the token we got. Which means, yeah, we got 14 million, which is again, yeah, it's already somewhat. So we are going to put those in here. Of course, once the transaction has been done, which takes a few years. But that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. And until tomorrow. Bye-bye.